Hi, I'm Joanne Magley. I'm the Community Information Director for Volusia County Government, and welcome to this special edition of Volusia Magazine. Today, we're going to take you to the 2019 State of the County Address, which was held at the Ocean Center here in Daytona Beach and hosted by Volusia County Chair Ed Kelly. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Ed Kelly, Volusia County Chair, and it's my privilege to present this year's State of the County Address. The State of the County Address is an annual event that allows the County Council the opportunity to reflect on and celebrate partnerships and previous year's accomplishments, as well as outline the county's goal for the future. The theme this year is a caring and thriving community. Caring is at the heart of every decision we make as a County Council and throughout the entire staff of county government. Looking back at the accomplishments of 2018, there are four major themes, protecting natural resources, infrastructure development, rich community life, and a caring community. When companies like B. Braun, Top Build, Brown & Brown, One Daytona, Hard Rock Hotel are building or expanding in your community as they are here, other companies notice. That leads to more companies and families wanting to be a part of Volusia County. 2018 was a great year for our hometown airport, Daytona Beach International. While the year-end numbers aren't in, through November, total passenger traffic at the airport increased 5.3%, with nearly 760,000 passengers for the year. And while news came last year that JetBlue would end service here, we had two new airlines announce service, Sunwing with nonstop service to Toronto and Silver with flights to Fort Lauderdale. This opens up travel to the islands. And American Airlines stepped in where JetBlue left off, adding nonstop service to New York City and the continued longtime service of Delta, which again increased capacity in 2018. And while air service is what is important to most people, we can't overlook the major $35 million taxiway rehabilitation project, which is 95% funded by FDOT and the FAA. Looking ahead for this year, we will begin renovations on several projects at the airport, including modernization of the cell phone lot and upgrades to the terminal parking lot. And terminal renovations kick off this year with a new modern design that highlights the area's natural resources. In addition to all of this exciting economic development, I think you all agree we also have an amazing quality of life. From our parks and conservation lands to our miles of pristine trails, Volusia County celebrated more than 20 miles of new trails in 2018 with many more to come. Our beautiful downtowns, our countrysides, and a beach environment like no other. But all of this rich community life means nothing if we don't take care of the most vulnerable in our community. Millions of dollars have been provided to prevent homelessness and assist those who are homeless. And we've expanded our Votran public bus service in New Smyrna Beach and Deltona. Caring is at the heart of every decision of the County Council and the dedicated staff who work every day to provide services and programs that enhance our quality of life. All of us care deeply about this county and its diverse communities, and we will continue to work for the good of all. Hi, I'm Ben Johnson, your large county council representative. While I was sworn into office just five days ago, I'm sure most of you know that I'm not new to county government. 
After spending 16 years as your sheriff, I'm honored and excited to once again be serving the citizens of Lucia County. Economic development, jobs creation, and responsible fiscal management are among my top priorities. I look forward to working with the residents and our community and municipal partners to address the issues and challenges facing Volusia County. By working together, we can chart a course to a brighter and more prosperous future. Hi, I'm Barbara Gertman, your District 1 representative. I'm excited to join Volusia County Council to work towards positive improvements in Volusia County. As a businesswoman, I've developed relationships with leaders and elected officials throughout District 1, West Volusia, Volusia, and the state. I look forward to working with my fellow council members on opportunities to collaborate with these leaders regarding property rights, smart growth, affordable housing, among many other concerns. I will also work towards identifying and addressing common issues impacting Volusia County. Hi, I'm Billy Wheeler, your District 2 representative. 2018 was a year of progress and partnerships. The Beachside Redevelopment Committee completed its review process, resulting in recommendations for the redevelopment of the core area of Ormond Beach, Daytona Beach, and Daytona Beach Shores. And while the committee may have completed the task assigned to it by the County Council, the committee members will continue to work with all the private interests and the local government to ensure that all of the plans and the recommendations are implemented and successful. In an effort to help all our beachgoers onto the sand and sooner, six additional vehicular beach access ramps were open for the 2018 season, as well as the designation of annual pass holder only ramps. Several off-beach parking lots were also opened with additional lots under construction for the coming year. Recognizing that the beach is one of the county's major attractions for both locals and visitors, we worked on ways to keep our prized coast pristine. Efforts to reduce litter on the beach included increasing porter services, placing additional waste receptacles along the beach and ramps, and providing trash bags at toll booths. And we introduced a few of our sea creature friends to help spread the message of keeping our beaches clean. The Daytona Beach Regional Library reopened to an appreciative crowd on May the 5th, 2018, after Hurricane Irma sent a flood of ankle-deep water into the popular downtown library. County staff launched an eight-month renovation and repair project, restoring the library to its former glory and then some. The library has new flooring, paint, furniture, and a welcome addition, the Rachel Robinson Play Yard. The Volusia County Public Library System continues to provide a wide range of educational and entertaining programs, ranging from crafts to computer classes to enrich the lives of local residents throughout the year. The library system recently began self-service reservation pickup and checkout at eight branches to help patrons streamline and speed up their visit. Each location has a kiosk for simplified checkouts and renewals. And you may remember that in late 2017, the county celebrated marine life and recreation with a two-day event where attendees could climb aboard two larger-than-life sea vessels, the 90-foot Tug Everglades and 150-foot Lady Philomena. In June of 2018, we tugged both boats out to sea where they were sunk at Artificial Reef Site 12 as part of the county's Artificial Reef Program. Divers and fishermen report that the boats are already teeming with sea life, including red snapper, mangrove snapper, and large goliath grouper. To date, the county has more than 140 artificial reefs with more deployments set for 2019. 
And finally, this is the year for the scheduled completion of the Tom Stead Veterans Memorial Bridge. This $38 million bridge will be the first of its kind in Florida to feature a concrete archway design and fishing piers on both sides of the river. It also will be the first of its kind to pay a unique tribute to local veterans with 28 scenic overlooks commemorating conflicts in America's military history. things are more important to maintaining a dynamic, thriving community than protection and preservation of our precious water resources. Hi, I'm Deb Denny, your Volusia County District 3 representative, and I'm proud to report that improving water quality was a significant focus of our efforts in 2018. But that's not all. Achieving substantial milestones in economic development and transportation improvements also were among the many accomplishments during the past year. Last year, the Water Resources and Utilities Division completed expansion of the Southwest Regional Advanced Wastewater Treatment Facility in DeBerry, as well as a 4,700-foot reclaimed water main extension along Normandy Boulevard in Deltona. By reducing pollution and increasing the supply of alternate water sources, both projects were integral to the county's ongoing efforts to protect Blue Springs. Other projects include the implementation of an integrated plan to improve water quality in the Mosquito Lagoon. Called the Reasonable Assurance Plan, the program is a collaboration among the county and the cities of Edgewater, New Smyrna Beach, and Oak Hill, along with the state and federal agencies to remove pollutants from the lagoon. Two of the projects under the plan that will be designed and permitted include the 10th Street Water Quality Pond in Edgewater and the Aerial Canal Water Quality Improvements in the Oak Hill area. Economic development is flourishing in Volusia County. In 2018, the County Council approved a 20% match of performance-based incentives as required by Florida statute for two companies to help stimulate economic activity and jobs creation in our county. The two companies were B. Braun Medical and Mystic Power Boats. The B. Braun project is a proposed second manufacturing facility that could be built on recently acquired property in Daytona Beach, just east of the company's current manufacturing facility. If the proposed project comes to fruition, B. Braun would invest another $100 million in Volusia County, bringing their total investment to more than $240 million. The firm will also have committed to create more than 200 new jobs with salaries at 125% of the area's annual average wage. Mystic Power Boat's expansion of its manufacturing plant in DeLand is projected to add 70 new jobs at 115% of the area's average wage. The larger plant and expanded production lines are expected to account for new capital investment of approximately $5 million. And on the transportation front, construction began on the Turnbull Bay Bridge in New Smyrna Beach in July 2017. This project has been a long time coming and the county worked hard to keep it open for use throughout the construction process. This would not have happened without the efforts of the late Mike Ader, a former member of the Turnbull Estates Homeowners Association, whose prodding helped to make the project a reality without inconveniencing residents with a lengthy detour during the construction. At 440 feet longer and 20 feet wider, I'm happy to announce that the bridge will be completed early this year. The County Council looks forward to dedicating the new bridge in Mike Ader's name. In May 2015, 
at County Council's direction, staff programmed approximately $3 million in funding for three-laning West Park Avenue in Edgewater from 695 feet east of Old Mission Road to Massey Ranch Boulevard. That work is now underway and thanks to a public-private partnership that resulted in right-of-way acquisition at no cost to taxpayers. It's scheduled for completion in October of 2019. Once done, this project to improve the supporting road network should help attract new developments to Parktown Industrial Center and the surrounding industrial zoned properties. Situated as the northern gateway to the Cape Canaveral spaceport, Volusia County is extremely well positioned to reap some of the economic benefits of the rapidly developing commercial space industry. With that in mind, the county recently received a $45,000 state grant to help Volusia try to harness some of that potential economic activity. Among the consultant's tasks will be evaluating the commercial space industry's growth potential within Volusia County and defining the major product and service needs of the industry. Volusia.org is your online county government resource. View the county council agenda and meeting calendar, as well as review past meeting minutes and archived video and audio. Save time and bypass the lines by going online to register your car or boat, pay a bill, and much more. Plus, you can use the site to discover activities, workshops, and ways to become involved with your community. Volusia.org is your portal to everything Volusia County. Hi, I'm Josh Wagner. And I'm Billy Wheeler. During the planning stages of the Tomstead Veteran Memorial Bridge, people voiced their desire to have a Veterans Memorial Plaza on the northwest side of the bridge. The Veterans Memorial Plaza will create a special place in our community for people to reflect and connect with our fallen heroes. The proposed concept for the new Veterans Memorial Plaza is estimated to be a $1.2 million endeavor. Your donation will help us create a special place in our community in which we can honor Volusia County veterans from all military branches and military conflicts. To help fund our Veterans Memorial Plaza, visit veteransmemorialbridge.com or call Volusia County Accounting at 386-736-5933. We appreciate your support to create this lasting memorial for those who have served and continue to serve our country. Hey everybody, we need your input. The County of Volusia, the Florida Department of Health and local hospitals are working to create a healthier community for you and your family. But to do that, we need you to take a brief online survey. Your opinion will help to guide decision makers in creating a healthier place for all of us to live. The County Health Survey is easy to find. Just go to countyhealthsurvey.com. That's countyhealthsurvey.com. The Volusia County Council meets on the second floor of the Thomas C. Kelly Administration Center, located at 123 West Indiana Avenue in DeLand. Public participation begins at 9.30 a.m. and the meeting agenda starts at 10 a.m. A live video stream is available at volusia.org slash audio and agendas are posted at volusia.org slash agenda. Future meeting dates are available online at volusia.org. Post, your District 4 representative, which includes the incorporated and unincorporated areas of Ormond Beach, Ormond by the Sea, Holly Hill, the western half of Daytona Beach, and the eastern portions of DeLand and DeLeon Springs. As you know, areas of public protection are my number one priority, and we continue to work on improving our systems and services. The Division of Corrections has begun the engineering and design work for the network infrastructure that will support the inmate phone system and modernize video visitation and jail security systems at the Volusia County Branch Jail. The county is taking steps to acquire an 800 megahertz radio system that will be used by all first responders, police, fire, and ambulance to ensure a timely and safe response. 
The county's public safety radio equipment has advanced beyond the units currently in use, and many radio units are at the end of their useful life, and repairs are not possible due to the phase out of replacement parts. During the past year, the county engaged a consultant to develop the specifications for the P25 technology of the modernized radio system. In 2019, staff will work with a consultant to write the request for proposals for the purchase of hardware, software, and services necessary for the 800 megahertz radio upgrade. The county's public protection and EMS administrations, the medical director, the chair of the Volusia County Fire Chiefs Association, and the EMS union are working together to develop a comprehensive EMS response plan. This group has been meeting weekly since late September, reviewing the current state of the EMS, the ambulance system, response and transport data, as well as current policy that guides the EMS system. The group will provide an overview of their work to County Council in early 2019 to include recommendations and response time goals developed to improve the EMS system. From public safety to public works, a lot of work has been done on county bridges. This past year, Road and Bridge has completed three significant repair and rehabilitation projects on the county's two bascule bridges that span the Halifax River. These bascule bridges include the LB Knox Bridge, also known as High Bridge, built in 1955 on High Bridge Road north of Ormond Beach, and the Main Street Bridge in Daytona Beach, built in 1959. Last January, crews replaced bearings on the west bridge span of High Bridge. In March of 2018, the Main Street Bridge Fender project was also completed. Both the High Bridge and Main Street Bridge were installed with a new relay control system for raising and lowering the bridge. In March, we celebrated the opening of Hope Place, a temporary and transitional shelter for homeless families with children and unaccompanied youth. Volusia County donated the land and the buildings and provided a grant to the shelter operated by Halifax Urban Ministries. In 2018, Hope Place successfully transitioned 89% of the 225 adults and children sheltered at its facility to permanent housing. In July, a daycare center opened on site, providing early Head Start, Head Start, and after-school programs to the local community. In May, with a changeover in the Volusia County Medical Examiner position, a consultant was brought in to fill the role of medical examiner and to review the state of the office's operations and procedures. Recommendations were implemented, providing for a more independent, proficient, and efficient unit. In August, Volusia County, working with the Military Order of the Purple Heart, was proud to officially become a Purple Heart County, expressing sincere gratitude to the sons and daughters of our community who gave their lives or were wounded in combat defending the freedoms that all Americans enjoy. Currently, only 29 of the Florida's 67 counties have received the Purple Heart County designation. Looking ahead to 2019, I look forward to positive change and to a bright future for all Volusia County residents. Hi, I'm Fred Lowry, your County Council representative from District 5, and I'm proud of the assistance we were able to provide to those in our community. Volusia County's Community Assistance Division spent more than $1.7 million on homelessness prevention programs using funds from the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, Emergency Home Energy Assistance for the Elderly Program, Community Development Block Grant Program, Emergency Shelter Grant Program, the Home Investment Partnership Program, and the County's General Fund. Volusia County supports the Neighborhood Center of West Volusia, which feeds the hungry, houses the homeless, and prevents homelessness in West Volusia. The center opened a 12-bed transitional housing facility called GAP House, GAP standing for Growth and Achievement Program. They opened that in July 2018, increasing the agency's total bed capacity for emergency and transitional housing to 162. Construction is underway on the bridge, a homeless shelter and day center project. This shelter will house up to 30 men and women and will serve as an emergency shelter and day treatment center to provide outreach, mental health counseling, medical assistance and referrals, counseling, job placement, case management and rapid rehousing to persons in need. 
Volusia County is contributing $1,130,000 in capital funding and another $125,000 in operating expenses to the bridge shelter. Votrans Route 25, which will begin running in February of 2019, will service Deltona and operate primarily in the Howling Boulevard corridor. It will run from DuPont Lake Shopping Center west to Halifax Health Center in Deltona and to the Epic Theaters. Route 25 will provide connection service to Routes 21 and 22. Public sector employees from across Volusia County again showed how much they care about their communities by donating to the Feed the Need food drive. Now in its eighth year, employees have collected more than 770,000 pounds of food that directly benefited local service agencies serving families in every city and town in Volusia County. In 2018, Volusia County's trail system took three giant leaps forward with the opening of a trio of trail segments in 2018. The outdoor destinations include a long-awaited 20.2-mile phase that includes two segments, one that runs from Gobbler's Lodge Road to Maytown Spur Road, and another that extends from the Bavard County line north to Cow Creek, where it connects to existing trail and the pedestrian overpass on State Road 442. This $16.1 million project was funded by the Florida Department of Transportation. Another 1.2 mile segment that extends from the intersection of Don Smith and DeBerry Plantation Boulevards to the existing trail near Detroit Terrace. This is the first trail constructed by the county using Sun Trail funds totaling $848,739. The $1.9 million cost was covered by an ECHO grant of $1.5 million and a local option gas tax funds totaling nearly $400,000. Volusia County now has 59.9 miles of trails that residents and visitors can use to walk, jog, skate, bicycle, and commune with nature. And looking ahead for 2019, the county has been in the process of widening Howland Boulevard in Deltona from two to four lanes. Both the design and acquisition are on track to be completed in the spring of 2019. connected with the latest Volusia County news events and updates on our social media channels. Like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Catch up with previous stories on YouTube or just head over to our website, volusia.org. Thank you for watching this special edition of Volusia Magazine. We'll see you next time.